oh my gosh it has been forever but i'm so happy to be back with you guys and this is just a quick life update and just to say that i am back um amira j is absolutely amazing she had the best uh report from school which was honestly so just so amazing like just to read what the teachers had to say and how she's performing and everything was really really sweet um so she's doing well she does um very busy with swimming and what else does she do taekwondo she does um she's learning chinese mandarin and she's just absolutely loving life always busy 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 keeping us on our toes also i did put um follow me on instagram if you don't because mainly active on instagram i post like pretty much every day every other day on instagram so i did post in there about questions because i'm going to be doing a q a for my next video or maybe the video after that we'll see um so comment down below leave your comments down below any questions that you have sort of an update slash q a that i'll film for my next video um anything related to pregnancy symptoms uh, anything like that um and i'll answer that in my next video i'll combine it with the questions that i have from instagram now, we did go to jamaica for christmas last christmas which was so good um i did do clips while we were there so let me know if you'd like me to do like a compilation and just put all of the footage in one video or maybe two and drop that and then you guys would have seen in the video just before this one that amira j well us telling amira j about baby and she's just honestly guys she is so excited she was so happy like we edited the video quite a bit but she cried so many happy tears because she was just so 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 happy about it um so she's really excited every day she talks to the bump um and she just sings to the bump she reads to the bump in the evening so she's really really excited about having a sibling anyway so the last time i saw you guys i shared with you guys that i went through an ectopic pregnancy and um how difficult that was for me and i just needed to take the time um away and just to sort of mentally emotionally um physically recover from that um and i'm just so happy to be back and be able to share with you guys i'm so grateful i'm so blessed i'm so happy to share with you guys that i am pregnant with baby number three and everything is going amazing so far in terms of baby baby's health and my health the pregnancy and symptoms itself uh, people 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 uh, my next coming videos i'll go through like in-depth um symptoms and how i've been feeling and everything in my first trimester obviously after going through my topic last year it's over a year now um finding out when i was pregnant was it, it was like a whirlwind it's like i literally went through every emotion possible within seconds like it was absolutely mad by the way i'm here munching on some uh, popcorn <laughs> anyway so um yeah so obviously we decided it took me about uh because i get this question a lot it took me about a year i would say um before i was ready to like try again even mentally think about trying again only because once you have an ectopic pregnancy you get told that the chances of having another one is super duper high um so that would always play in my head and i was obviously between both of us to be fair um it was just a case of in my head it was always like okay we try again and the chance of it happening again is really high am i ready for that am i ready to navigate through those emotions again um because it was very difficult for me so um took about a year i would say for us to say okay let's try again um in terms of how long it took for me to then fall pregnant it was immediate we found out very early if you've been pregnant before you 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 kind of feel like it's just like mm, something like going on body um so my boobs are super duper tender 
and I was like right okay let me test but obviously the anxiety around seeing that pregnancy stick go positive is also a big thing so I was like you don't want to test too early because if you test too early you could get a false negative and then it sort of you go through such disappointment when you don't see it turn positive blah 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 so anyways one morning I'm like hmm I've been peeing a lot lately let me go see what it is so I got I had pregnancy tests in in my um collection anyway um because obviously as I said we were ready to try again so in preparing my body for pregnancy I took um I started my prenatals uh well it's like a it's like vitamins that you can take when trying for a baby um I started that maybe th I would say about three months or two months before we actually tried because I was sort of knew it was coming up so and there's no <clears throat> there's no harm in taking those anyway so I started taking those um and then I also had uh maca root powder in my smoothies and things that I would have um and then I had like my normal vitamins and then last year because I suffered from migraines I was actually on migraine tablets before so since I um since the ectopic I never went back on the migraine tablets only because when I found out I was pregnant last year before finding out it was an ectopic my midwife was like asking if I was on any medication and I mentioned that I was on migraine tablets and just her response and her reaction was a bit like oh um how long have you been on that for and how long were you taking how long did you stop taking it before you fell pregnant and it was just the questions were really like I was like should I not be taking it and she's like well we don't really recommend so from my ear that people me never put that back in my body because the thing is yeah i was never on like different migraine tablets before i used to be when i was younger but um i try not to get caught up in all the different medications and things so ever since then i decided not to ever do that her migraine tablet again so um yeah when i then decided to take a test um feed on stick it went positive sort of straight away now the thing with with this pregnancy is um i did way more tests i don't know if it's because i don't know how it works mentally i don't know why i felt like i needed that reassurance so much more um but i took a lot of tests this time around i also did obviously the clear blue test which is what i used at the beginning does not have the the pink line you know like when you pee in a stick and it goes pink or you get double line or whatever it is depending on the test um that shows the actual color last time with the ectopic pregnancy that color when i did the test it was actually it was lighter like really really light and through watching tiktoks and other women's videos and things a lot of people were saying like if it's an ectopic the line is really light and that can signify that something is not going right so i did that test as well as the clear blue test just to see how bright the line was and this time round, i took it say for example i took it on week three or four and then i took it again on week six um the the line was getting darker it was pretty much the same as what the first line was which is different to the last um time now it took me i was not able to do a early pregnancy scan until six weeks people the time between finding out i found out when i was about three weeks four weeks pregnant those seemed like the longest years i'm not gonna say years because they did not feel like weeks it felt like the longest time ever once you have an ectopic pregnancy you get an early scan to make sure that baby's in the right place so that was until six weeks so i had to wait that whole time and it was just awful i saw my midwife in between that the first midwife appointment i had was at about five weeks i think it was quite early on um and she was basically saying like she understands my anxiety and thing and just try to relax don't think about it too much because obviously you don't want to stress yourself and stress baby and everything so when i went for the scan I was a hot mess I was a hot mess because the thing is 
when I found out I was pregnant, when I saw that test go positive, I I was the main emotion that came over myself was was that I was scared. There was fear because the only thing I think of is what if it's happening again. Obviously, you want to stay positive and everything. And thank Lord, my hubby is that balance for me. He is really like everything will be okay it's fine da, da, da. whereas i'm a like a, i'm a warrior um and that's just something i've always worried about things ever since i was younger but obviously with this um it's inevitable you're gonna worry that you're gonna go through something like that again so then when i told him i was just bawling my eyes out because i was just like i'm so scared i don't know if it's gonna happen again what will i do this time around how am i going to manage if it happens again because guys it is just such an awful experience so when i found out it was just so many emotions that i was going through um i was trying to stay calm but i was also trying to stop myself from having a panic attack because i was worrying about it happening again and it was just absolutely crazy but then i was also super happy as well because the lord has blessed me to be able to fall pregnant so soon after trying and you know it's not something i take for granted i get a lot of um people ladies messaging me all the time you know who have issues ever since i shared my topic pregnancy women who have issues with getting pregnant who can't have babies at all can't carry um have issues carrying the pregnancy even if they're full pregnant so i talk to a lot of women on a daily basis who go through these things so i do not take it for granted at all and i was just so grateful that i was able to fall pregnant one and then two i was just like oh, lord please let this be okay the baby's kicking up a storm as i'm talking um but yeah i'll definitely share and carry you guys on this journey i'm super excited to have you guys on this journey just like i did with amira j and yeah i'm just so happy to be back with you guys and thank you so much for clicking on this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in another one bye